Hello everyone. In this video, I will be explaining about Butterworth first order low pass filter. First, I will be explaining how the Butterworth first order low pass filter work, and next, I will be performing the experiment. What is a filter? Filter is a circuit capable of passing or amplifying certain frequencies while attenuating all other frequencies. That means a filter is a circuit which passes only few frequencies and attenuates all other frequencies above a cutoff frequency. I will be discussing what is cutoff frequency in the later part of the video. Now there are two types of filters: passive filters and active filters. Passive filters are those filters which use components such as resistors. capacitors and inductors and active filters are those filters which use components such as resistors capacitors and inductors along with the active components such as op amps now let's study the passive filter which is rc low pass filter an rc low pass filter is a circuit that can be designed to modify reshape or reject all unwanted high frequencies of an electric signal and accept or pass only those signals wanted by the circuit designer that means this is a circuit which passes only the low frequencies below a cutoff frequency and it attenuates all other frequencies above a cutoff frequency now uh, to understand it clearer let have a look at the circuit diagram now this is a circuit diagram of an rc low pass filter the resistor is connected in series with the capacitors and the output will be measured across the terminals of the capacitor Uh, to understand it clearly we need to know the impedance of the capacitor which is given by minus j divided by omega c where omega is the angular frequency given by omega is equal to 2 pi f initially when the frequency is very low the impedance of the capacitor will be very high because the denominator is very low due to which the impedance of the capacitor is very high due to which the we can approximate the capacitor as an open circuit so whatever input we will give that will be the output and as the frequency increases above a cutoff frequency when the frequency is very high uh, what happens is the denominator becomes very large due to which the impedance of the capacitor decreases when impedance of the capacitor decreases we will replace it by a short circuit when it is replaced by a short circuit that means the potential difference across the terminals of the capacitor is very low or we can say it is zero so high frequencies are attenuated where the low frequencies are passed but there is a disadvantage of this filter uh, the disadvantage is that the amplitude of the output is always less than the input to overcome this problem we will be using butterworth first order low pass filter by combining a basic rc low pass filter circuit with an operational amplifier we can create an active low pass filter circuit with the amplification now this is a circuit diagram of an butterworth first order low pass filter the first portion contains the rc low pass filter and the second portion contains the op amp the output of an rc low pass filter is given as the input at the non inverting terminal of the op amp and the output of the op amp is fed back to the inverting terminal here it is an unity gain amplifier we can provide the feedback resistors and provide the gain accordingly by the values of rf and ri what is happening here is at the low frequencies the output will be as same as the input but with the lesser amplitude because an rc low pass filter provides attenuation somewhat attenuation to the output signal even at the low frequencies that will be amplified by the op amp but at the higher frequencies it is attenuated the op amp is providing the amplification so that's why it is called as a butterworth first order low pass filter that means it provides a amplification to the output components required mu a 741 ic 0.01 microfarad capacitor r is equal to 2 k ohm r is equal to 1 k ohm and rf is equal to 1 k ohm connecting wires oscilloscope function generator and oscilloscope probes circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram of a butterworth low pass filter a 2k resistance is connected in series with a 0.01 microfarad capacitor and the output of the capacitor is given as the input to the non inverting terminal which is pin 3 and there are two feedback resistors 
of value one k ohm, and it is in the negative feedback configuration. VCC is given at the pin seven, and the value of VCC is thirteen volt, and VEE is given at the pin four, which VEE value is minus thirteen volt, and the output is taken from the pin six, and it is given to an oscilloscope, and the input is given to a resistor from a function generator. Pin diagram. First and fifth are the offset null. Eighth is not connected. Second is inverting. Third is non-inverting. And fourth is VEE. Sixth is the output. Seventh is VCC. Cutoff frequency. It is a frequency at which the gain of the filter is reduced by three dB. That means above this frequency, the output starts attenuating. And the formula is FC is equal to one by two pi RC. R is equal to two k ohm. C is equal to zero point zero one microfarad. By calculating, we get F C is equal to seven point nine kilohertz. Above this frequency, all the frequencies are attenuated. We had connected all the components as shown in the circuit diagram. Have a look at it. The yellow colored wire is connected to V C C, and the red colored wire is connected to V E E, and the output is taken from the pin six and is connected to an oscilloscope probe, and the input is given to the resistor, and the ground. is given to one terminal of the capacitor input frequency 1 kilohertz channel 1 is the input and channel 2 is the output 2 kilohertz We have changed the time is three kilohertz. Four kilohertz. Five kilohertz. Six kilohertz. Seven kilohertz. Till now, it is not attenuated. After eight, it starts attenuating. Eight kilohertz. From here, the output starts attenuating. Here, it is reduced by minus three b. The gain is reduced by minus three b. Nine kilohertz. Cutoff frequency we calculated was seven point nine, ten kilohertz. Now you can see that the output amplitude is reducing twenty kilohertz. Thirty kilohertz. Now the output is less than the input amplitude. You can see from the oscilloscope. Fifty kilohertz. Let's change the time base. Hundred kilohertz. Almost a flat line. It is not allowing higher frequencies to pass. Two hundred kilohertz. A flat line. In this way, the circuit allows only low frequencies till cutoff frequencies to pass.